Right, it's time to get on with these Iron Man legs. So I've already put um, a thin coat of silicon and two thick coats of silicon on the bottom. And now I'm just doing the other side, so let's mix up some of this Repsil. I need quite a lot to cover it, and I'm going to be putting thickener in as well so that I can smear it on like butter. So basically mixing up a kilogram at a time and then adding the thickener in and then sticking it on there. So I just need to pour that in another container, mix it and put the thickener in and then we'll be ready. So that's in container two, let's just add in thickener. Probably need quite a lot. That bottle hasn't got enough in. And all the thickener does is make it thicker. So the liquid's less runny. And we can smear it on. So just give that a good mix and then we'll get going. Quite a lot harder to mix with with uh, thickener in. Immediately, you can see. Probably need a bit more than that, but um, oh, let's get a bit of mix and see what happens. Probably need a longer mixing stick than my IKEA spoon from the cutlery drawer. Anyway, that'll probably do. Actually, it's quite a lot less runny. So. do. So we'll just basically apply this all over. Quite liberally, probably you can end up doing a couple of coats. Making sure we've got a nice thick mould. So that's most of that gone. Basically just smoothed it on all over with a knife. Um, haven't quite covered everything I need to, so I probably need, needed another half kilogram or something, but uh, silicon sticks to itself, so it can be put on in as many layers as you want. And I just need to do the end as well, which is hardly covered at all. And eventually this is going to make a mould um, which wraps all around the piece and then we've got basically at the ends uh, a place to pour the resin in and then we'll rotate it round and round and basically do a rotor cast so that the resin sets and coats the inside of the mould and that makes a hollow shell for the pieces which is basically how all the other pieces have been made. So I just need to carry on and apply the rest. Then I've got to do the other leg. All right. Right, so I'm just going to patch up the areas that I've missed. Hopefully then I've still got enough to start the next one. Probably going to have to come back and do another thickened coat in any case. Just try and get it on as even as possible all over. Alright, let's turn that upside down, hopefully we balance. Yeah. I can get on and do all of the bottom here. Should leave me with one big silica mould with a hole in each end, and that's what we want.
Right, that's enough for that one. That to one side and we got the other one. Of this out. Right, it's the third coat of thickened silicon on these, and then I'll let those go off, and then I'll do another one on all of them, and then a thin coat of silicon, and I'll stick some. Uh, some lumps on which are made of ice cubes so that there's a registration key for the mother mould which I will talk about in a moment. And this is basically the reason that I haven't finished this project quickly, in fact I've been doing it since October 2010 um, and that's because basically this is quite a boring process of building up layers of silicon and then obviously the mother mould as well, which we've got to make. It's the main reason I've just been lazy and haven't got round to it. It's actually quite boring. Anyway, so, this, this is the last pieces with the exception of the feet that I've got to do moulding from. So hopefully, I can actually get this finished. In the next few weeks. You should wear gloves when you're doing this, which I'm not, because personally I don't have a problem with getting it on my skin, but it is hazardous, so you should really, the catalyst at least is hazardous, so you should really wear gloves and other protective clothing and do it in a well ventilated area. Strictly speaking. Don't eat with your spoon after you've used it for moulding, because that's not a very good idea. Right, let's put this upside down and do the bottom. So that'll do, and then I'm just going to let that cure, and then we've got to, as I say, come back and do another coat on all of it. <laughs> 